in the name of Allah assalamu alaikum everyone this is Ishra Jamal of class 12th from Kalamabad Mawar currently student of alpha class Handwara today I am going to deliver a lecture on semiconductors under the guidance of Farhat sir and the topic of my presentation is logic gates before going to logic gates I am going to define what semiconductors are semiconductors are the materials having conductivity and resistivity in between conductors and insulators the range of conductivity and resistivity of semiconductors lies in between conductors and insulators let us take an example of uh, semiconductors elemental semiconductor germanium and silicon we can also take example of a semiconductor that is compound semiconductors compound semiconductor like gallium arsenide indium phosphate polyaniline and anthracene this is organic semiconductor example of organic semiconductor and these two are inorganic semiconductors examples of inorganic semiconductors this was the basic definition of semiconductors we can also define semiconductors on the base of energy band diagram but that is not our topic our topic is logic gates now let's move towards the logic gates Logic gates are the digital circuits with one or more than one inputs and only one output. One or more than one inputs. But only one output. We can also define logic gates. These are the circuits uh, to produce digital signals. There are three basic logic gates, OR gate, AND gate and NON gate. We will discuss them one by one. First of we will discuss OR gate. OR gate is a logic gate with one or more than one input but only one output. It is working is the output will be high if one or both the inputs are high otherwise low i will explain its working using truth table what is truth table truth table gives us the relationship between our input and output voltage let us draw truth table for our gate another input is also zero therefore output will be low that is zero if one input is zero another input is one that is high output will be high if both the inputs are high that is one output will be high that is one this is the truth table for our gate let us move towards the boolean expression for our gate y is equal to a plus b this is not plus it indicates it is read as y is equal to a or it with b like zero or it with 0 is equal to 0 that is low 0 ordered with 1 that is equal to 1 that is high 1 ordered with 1 is equal to 1 it is also high this was a truth table and this was a boolean expression for our gate let us see it as symbol symbol for or gate is equal to a or with b this is one input this another input this is a logic symbol for or gate this was all about one on one on uh, logic gate that was uh, that was or gate let's move towards the second one that is and gate AND gate is a logic gate having one or more than one input but only one output but its working is different from the OR gate let us see its working 
the output will be high if both the inputs are high otherwise no that is zero let us see um, by using truth table truth table for AND gate If one input is zero, another input is also zero. Output will be zero. That is low. If one input is zero, another input is one. Output will uh, settle zero. That is low. If both the inputs are high, that is one. Output will be high. That is one. This was two table and working uh, about AND gate. Let us see. It is boolean expression. y is equal to a this dot indicates ended it is read as ended a ended with b zero ended with zero is equal to zero that is low one ended with one is equal to one that is high this was working and truth table about and negate let us see it symbol A and it would be is equal to Y. The difference between the symbol of OR gate and uh, AND gate, uh, there was this um, vertical line was in curved manner, but here it is straight. This was all about OR gate and AND gate. Let's move towards the third logic gate that is NOT gate. NOT gate is also a logic gate having one input with only one output. It is also called an inverter, but because why it is called an inverter? Because it inverts the input. One input with one output. Also called as inverter. Why it is all, why it is called inverter? It inverts the input. How it inverts the input? Let us see. If output is high, that is one. Input will be zero here. Input is zero. That is low. Low. That is zero. And vice versa. In this manner, in this manner, it inverts the input. Let us see it as truth table. Truth table for NOT gate. If input is 0, that is low. Output is high, that is 1. If input is 1, that is high. Output is low, that is 0. In this manner, it inverts the input. It is boolean expression is equal to y is equal to a k upper bar. It's, it is, uh, it is um, the boolean expression for truth table in uh, NOT gate. Let us see it a symbol. This is a symbol of NOT gate. This was all about three logic gates. When we combine these three logic gates, uh, there exists three, two universal logic gates. We will discuss uh, these two logic gates one by one. Universal logic gates. First is NAND gate. NAND gate is a universal logic gate when output of AND gate when output of output of AND gate is connected with the input of NAND gate the resultant logic gate is known as NAND gate let us see its truth table if input is 0 that is low another input is also 0 that is uh, low Output is 0, that is low. One input is 0, another input is 1, output will be 0. If both the inputs are high, that is 1, output will be high, that is 1. This is the truth table for NAND gate. Let us see it a symbol. It is symbol is formed by combining the symbol of AND gate and NOT gate.
This is a symbol of uh, NAND gate. This was the first universal logic gate. Uh, there remains one logic gate that is universal logic gate and the name uh, is a NAND gate. Let us see that. Now we will explain the second universal logic gate that is NOR gate. N indicates here NOT gate and R indicates R gate. NOR gate is a universal logic gate when output of OR gate is connected with the input of NOT gate. The resultant logic gate that is universal logic gate is known as NOT gate. Output of OR gate is connected with the input of NOT gate. And the resultant logic gate is known as NOR gate. Let us see its truth table. If one input is 0, another input is 0, output will 0, that is low. If one input is 1, that is high, another input is 0, that is low, output will be 1, that is high. If both the inputs are high, that is 1. Output will be high, that is 1. This is the truth table for NOR gate. Let us see it assemble. This is a symbol for NOR gate. This was all about the logic gates.